His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable to the U.S. Republican presidential candidate and former President Donald Trump expressing his strong condemnation of the assassination attempt on him during a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. His Majesty affirmed his condemnation of all forms of political violence that contradict democratic values and expressed his relief that former President Donald Trump is safe. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to former U.S. President and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump strongly denouncing the assassination attempt on him during his campaign rally in Pennsylvania. In the cable, His Royal Highness condemned all forms of political violence that conflict with democratic norms and values and expressed his relief that former President uh, Trump is safe. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Al-Batif Zayani, attended the reception held by the French Ambassador to Bahrain, Eric Girard de Telm, on the occasion of the French National Day, Bastille Day, in the presence of a number of senior officials and heads of Bahrain's diplomatic missions. Dr. Zayani expressed Bahrain's appreciation for strong and long-term relations with France, affirming the depth of friendship ties that bring the two countries together at various levels, highlighting His Majesty the King's visit to France in 2022 and the fruitful meeting between His Majesty held with President Emmanuel Macron. He also stressed that the Bahraini government, headed by His Royal Highness, the uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is working to strengthen this partnership, expand areas of cooperation, and find new opportunities for bilateral cooperation. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and Engineer Wael bin Nasr al-Mbarak visited the headquarters of Bahrain Society of Engineers, BSE. During the meeting, the minister emphasized BSE's role in contributing to the kingdom's development. He highlighted the projects between the ministry and the society, considering BSE a key partner that possesses an elite group of specialists and consultants. Al-Mbarak emphasized the society's efforts to develop the skills of Bahraini engineering graduates, urging engineers to interact with the activities of the society. The meeting reviewed current and future joint projects in addition to topics of common interests. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Ministry of Industry and Commerce signed a memorandum of understanding with AP Muller Maresk to develop and create the ship recycling industry in Bahrain. In the presence of strategic partners, the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company Esri, SULB Company and APM Terminals Bahrain. On the occasion, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Mohamed Al-Kabi affirmed Bahrain's commitment to achieving sustainable development goals through strategic and effective participation between the public and private sectors in line with Bahrain's economic vision 20 2013. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, affirmed uh, that the MOU embodies the Kingdom's commitment to enhancing sustainable manufacturing, enabling the private sector to apply the concepts of a circular carbon economy and spreading a culture of environmental and uh, social governance in line with the industrial sector strategy 2022-2026. MOU signs a very important milestone for uh, ASRI and for the cooperation with the MERSC and the uh, SUR and all the ministries. We've been working on it for a long time and uh, this will uh, enhance uh, the uh, Bahrain capability to expand into new sectors uh, like the ship recycling. And we are very proud of this uh, step. It's, uh, it's going to be an innovative uh, process uh, and uh, a new areas to explore for uh, Bahrain, ASRI and for uh, the, uh, the entire country. So. And today is a big milestone. Uh, Maersk uh, firmly believe in uh, recycling of uh, the vessels being done in a sustainable way and in the safe way and in the environmental friendly way. With us signing this uh, memorandum of understanding with Bahrain, we believe there is a great opportunity to actually explore and uh, hopefully do vessel recycling in Bahrain, making Bahrain one of the hubs for the vessel recycling. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, met with the President of the Bahraini Contractors Association, Khalif Hjir, and the members of the association to discuss issues related to the contracting sector in Bahrain. The Minister hailed the role of the Bahraini Contractors Association and its continued cooperation with the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, affirming the Ministry's support of all sectors affecting the economic development and the commitment to facilitate the development of contracting institutions. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, said that the national campaign to protect children from online exploitation and blackmail constitutes the ideal platform for achieving this purpose, in addition to representing the sustainability of national initiatives aimed at protecting children and increasing their awareness on the wrong practices they may be exposed to through cyberspace. And the minister noted that the need has become urgent to launch such important national initiatives to increase the awareness of children and parents. She called for following sound principles in online conduct and reporting all improper cases 
policies and practices. Tawfiqi said that the ministry is working with all national authorities to support the objectives of the campaign, achieve its indicators and reach its goals. She stated that the ministry continues to launch programs for the youth that are in line with achieving one of the indicators of hope adopted by the ministry. Government hospitals have signed a joint cooperation agreement with Trinity College Dublin in the field of medical education and training. The CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr. Maria Al-Jalahma, emphasized the importance of enhancing public and academic partnerships in health, noting that the agreement strengthens medical practices and administrative efficiencies, fostering cooperation for mutual benefits. She said that the agreement is part of Bahrain's efforts to enhance the healthcare sector by improving medical efficiency, providing doctors with opportunities to develop professional skills and specialized disciplines, thereby enhancing healthcare services in Bahrain. The Dean of the Faculty of Medicine at Trinity College, Dublin Professor Colin Doherty, highlighted their commitment to providing expertise and resources to support healthcare sector development and foster strategic partnerships aimed at advancing healthcare systems. The United Nations Development Program in Bahrain launched the 10th edition of the Youth Leadership Program in a cooperation with the Ministry of Youth Affairs. The program runs for eight weeks where the youth's knowledge and network are developed and their expertise is harnessed to implement diverse and specialized initiatives to serve Bahrain. The course trains participants on innovative uh, ideas and solutions in the digital field and ways to activate them to suit the society's requirements. The program is one of the most prominent regional one organized in a cooperation with the UNDP for Arab countries which aims to create a generation of young leaders, change makers and social innovators to develop their capabilities in achieving sustainable development goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain condemned and denounced the Israeli bombing of Al Mawasi area in the city of Khan Yunus in the Gaza Strip, which resulted in the death and injury of dozens of displaced civilians, most of whom were children and women. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterated Bahrain's call to respect the rules of international law and international humanitarian law regarding the protection of civilians and civilian objects, an immediate and comprehensive ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, and to allow an unhindered delivery of humanitarian assistance to Palestinian civilians in accordance with relevant international resolutions, the latest of which being UN Security Council Resolution 2735. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the assassination attempt on former U.S. President and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump during his campaign rally in Pennsylvania. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the assassination attempt is a crime that contravenes democratic principles. The ministry wished the former president good health and safety and for the U.S. election campaigns to continue in peace without any form of violence and terrorism. The ministry expressed Bahrain's solidarity with the U.S. and highlighted the long-standing relations between the two nations that also extended wishes for a speedy recovery to those injured and expressed hope for continued security, stability and prosperity for the American people.